Hey first graders! So today's art project is going to be us making something for Mother's Day. So as you can see, I have all the pages I need. My colored paper, my vase, my flowers, my crayons, and my scissors. So we're first going to start by coloring our flowers. I decided to color this first flower like a pinkish purplish. And I'm going to use my careful coloring skills to color in this whole flower. I'm gonna color in all the petals. Nice and neat. We wanna make this look super nice for our moms. And then for the middle, I'm going to color the middle in yellow. Now I'm going to do the rest super fast so you guys can watch me color them in as you color yours. As you can see, I colored in two of the top flowers and two of the bottom. After they are all colored in, you need to have at least four of them. So after you have as many flowers as you want colored in, you're going to begin cutting. And you're going to use some careful cutting skills because they may be a little hard for you to cut. But this is good practice for you. So I'm going to show you how I decided I wanted to cut each flower out individually so it would help. You remember our triangle cuts, how we cut from one side and then we pick our paper up and we turn it and cut again so that we cut the triangle piece out so that it comes out as a nice clean cut and we have a pretty edge. So I want you to practice cutting that way for these flowers so we can make them look nice and neat. After you're done cutting out all your flowers, go ahead and recycle your scraps and move your beautiful flowers off to the side. Now I want you to pick a color to color in your vase that'll look really nice with the colors for your flowers and the colored paper you have. Now for me, I chose to use a pretty blue green color that will look nice with the colors that I chose. And then you're going to color in your whole vase using just one color. So make sure it's a color you really like. And you're going to color in the whole thing with your wonderful coloring skills.
After you colored in your vase fully, go ahead and grab your scissors and begin to cut it out. Remember, straight lines, so you should have straight cuts. We don't want any jagged lines happening on our pretty vase that we just colored. Once again, after you finish cutting it out, recycle your scraps and grab your construction paper that you had. And then after you have all your things cut out and everything ready to go, go ahead and grab your glue stick and glue the back side of your vase. After it's all nice and glued, go ahead and flip it back over and glue it at the bottom of your paper. That's going to be the best place for it so we can place our flowers in a nice way. Now pick a flower, one of the flowers that you colored, and go ahead and glue it somewhere on the paper, but make sure it's above the vase. Don't put it below, because then it will look like the flowers are dying, and we don't want that. We want them to look nice and pretty, and tall so glue them around the top of your vase in a nice way maybe you want them bunched together to look like a bouquet of flowers or maybe you want them to be spread out a little like i did so after you have them glued down in a place you like go ahead and grab your green crayon we're going to draw some stems so from the flower to the top of the vase go ahead and draw a stem I did two lines to make my stem look thicker and then I colored in between those lines to make my stem look thick and make sure when you're drawing your lines you don't color it on top of the vase we want to make sure you just get it to the very edge and it looks like my vase isn't glued down in the best way so make sure yours is glued down better than mine and go ahead and draw a stem for each flower that you have and here's my last one that I'm drawing some stems may be thinner some stems may be thicker you can go ahead and decide how you want yours to look after you draw all your stems you can go ahead and use the same green or a lighter green and draw a leaf on the side of the stem. You can draw one leaf for each flower or you can draw two. It's up to you. Just make sure every flower has a stem. After you have your stems and your leaves drawn, go ahead and grab a crayon. I decided to use a black one so that it stands out. I'm writing Happy Mother's Day on my vase, but you could write something like, I love you, Mom. Thank you, Mom. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. I love you. 
Just whatever you decide to write, make sure you either write it big enough to read or small enough so that it can all fit. So here's mine. Happy Mother's Day. Now remember, Mother's Day is on May 10th this year. That's a Sunday. So you can go ahead and make this ahead of time and save it to give it to your mom on that special day and tell her how much you love her.